Let's talk new projects. Let's talk PCA trade show. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. Hello everybody, my name is Eric. Thank you for joining us on the channel. If you're interested in some of the cigars I'm talking about now, check us out, you know where to find us. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you are notified anytime we produce new content. So we, my wife and I, Mallory, have just returned from the PCA trade show. It's held in Nevada. This is a trade show that occurs once a year and manufacturers, retailers all around the nation meet at Las Vegas to partake in the celebration, the ceremony as well as the trade show that is known as PCA, which stands for Premium Cigar Association. So you have manufacturers setting up elaborate booths, some not so elaborate, but really whatever's to scale in Las Vegas and you conduct business, you talk about upcoming projects, new products coming out. It's a really awesome time. So I wanted to sort of give you a snapshot of some of the things that we were able to experience and enjoy when we went out to Vegas. First of which I will say is that every booth, as I say, is very diverse and different. Some of them are very immersive where you like physically walk into the booth. Some of them are more like kiosk oriented where you go to like the countertop. And then some of them are more like uh, just sort of like a banner in the back with a table. And some even create like fake lounges, like imitation lounges. You sit in these nice chairs, you conduct business, you talk about blends, that sort of thing. So it's really cool to, to experience and see the different like booths as you go. So when you first walked in, one of the first people we talked to was Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. And they have sort of this like family style table running down the center of their booth with like, uh, you're surrounded by Steve Saka's blends and cigars on either side. A lot of cool projects coming out with Dunbarton, such as uh, the Red Meat Lovers, which is an awesome San Andreas like line. It's existed before as an exclusive. It is now released to other retailers. It's got this sweet, like savory, zesty, same time very clean on the palate. Like when you smoke it's very clean. He's got a shorty called Polpetta, which is a really good like meaty cigar as well. A new size for SakaCon, which I was super excited about, as well as some interesting unicorns that you'll probably be seeing me post about. We also visited Oveja Negra Brands. Now this is Blackworks, Black Label, Dissident, House of Emilio, and it's basically this almost like walk into room surrounded by the artwork and products of Black Label and Oveja Negra Brands. One of my favorite booths, one of my favorite companies. Uh, we got some really exciting things. A new Brazilian Matafina known as the Poison Dart. It is gonna be coming here to the shop. Really, really excited about this one. It was a PCA exclusive, so the only way to obtain it is to attend PCA. That is a limited coming out of Blackworks, uh, as well as new sizes. You're gonna see true Robustos in the core lines of Black Label. You also see a new size for Green Hornet and a new size for Killer Bee. But while we're on the subject, of Oveja Negra. Let's also talk Dissident. Dissident Cigars, they are responsible for the awesome blend known as the Home. We release it through our OGT Cigar Society. Uh, they have a new blend as well that's really exciting and I think I probably like it just a touch bit more as well as some of their standards, some rebranding, some new like labels. So you'll be seeing that also come to the shop. Really excited. Josh and Sin Colburn are awesome people and I'm so excited to be like kind of bringing them into the shop to experience some of their blends and how they view the world of cigars. Then we of course move over to Stolen Throne Cigars. Stolen Throne has this like rustic, like awesome looking covered wagon type situation, logo print on the side, their portfolio of Crook of the Crown, Call to Arms and Three Kingdoms are like is laid out on either side of this wagon. And then on the forefront is their new blend. This is a great like first step for Stolen Throne because it is a box press Toro, but it's also a box press Bellicoso dark Sumatra wrapper. It is known as Yorktown Fleet. I'm really looking forward to this project coming forward because it's, I smoked it incredibly, like perhaps the most complex cigar that they have created thus far. And as you know, we're big fans of it. There's also the return of something very, very awesome. You walk over to like the side and we met where Warped Cigars was at. Warped has like sort of display cases on either side and then sort of the meeting and then a big backdrop on the back. 
Black Honey is a famous, famous blend that they created, and thankfully it will be returning to Oakland Tobacconist. Also, a team up that I had been watching very closely and was very happy to see was Black uh, Starline. Black Starline has a new blend that they teamed up with Black Starline, Oveja Negra Brands, which is Black Label, to create Rosewood, a San Andreas Maduro, heavy hitting 6x48. It was awesome to see there. They, they always have their like wide backdrop and then like two chairs facing each other. It's very welcoming. Sit down, enjoy a cigar, maybe a glass of something special. Experience the cigar together, talk business. So you're going to be seeing Rosewood, and they have another like Connecticut Broadleaf heavy hitting cigar called Mr. Fahrenheit, which has also got like a really good sweetness to it. Could not forget and had to stop by Big Sky. Big Sky, these are the guys that are based in Montana, really awesome blends, Nicaraguan tobacco that's really good. They're releasing their first Dominican cigar, which was like instantly one of my favorites from their portfolio, known as the Blackfoot. So these are, that's just a snapshot, and you, you go around the show, you have a few days to do so, you meet up, you catch up with some of the uh, friends you've made in the industry, but also see the exciting projects that are coming on the horizon and what you will be seeing come to the shop. So keep your eyes peeled. PCA was a great show. Got to see some really awesome things. And I cannot wait to share a lot of these blends with all of you as well. So make certain you follow the channel, follow us on social media as these products, a lot of them very, very limited, start dropping. Make certain you uh, are ready for them and put down in the comments what maybe what brands and what products you would like to see us carry here at Oakland Tobacconist. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time here on the channel.